Hi Scott, I uh, I just watched your two videos. Oh. Don't worry, I, I'm doing what I can. I'm I've really been in prayer, really been uh, in a lot of war, uh, spiritual warfare. Let me tell you, but then apparently I'm by far not the only one. Well, that that is a very interesting way of looking at things. Um, I can't say that I haven't had to fight doubts, but before we were in the window of time, I had prayed and said, you know, Lord, I, uh, I, I may have uh, thoughts to deal with, or uh, doubts to deal with, but uh, I will just counter them with scripture as I remember them, and that's what I've been doing. And I felt he understood. And oh my goodness! Oh, what Wednesday morning? Just knowing that we had come into that window of time. It, I guess uh, the window of time which we could be called home was about 8 a.m. Uh, Wednesday morning, my time. That that would be 6 p.m. in Israel. <clears throat> and. Uh, and I was just feeling really agitated um, because <laughs> I woke up and I was still here. I was dealing with thoughts, you know, just uh, hoping that I didn't miss it and uh, and that I'd walk out and find that out. But uh, on my way to go and brush my hair and stuff, uh, the Holy Spirit impressed on my heart, uh, your king will never abandon you. And that that went a long way. I prayed for peace and for peace. Um, and then while I wait, and well, uh, in a nutshell, I definitely got that too. I was feeling a lot better by Wednesday evening. Yesterday, um, I had finally already finished my uh, my first ceramics a assignment, and then I found out that um, I wouldn't have to do ten of anything in one class period again. So. Now it's just whatever I can do in class time, and no, uh, <clears throat> no being late from the next class just to stay up to par in ceramics. So, so it was just kind of, you know, it came. And yesterday came and went. This morning, um, I uh, <clears throat> let's see. I woke up and, of course, t you know, uh, first thing I have to do is tell Satan to back the heck off. So, first thing out of my mouth is um, Philippians 4, 4 through 7 or whatever it is, or 4, 4, 4 through 9, that has uh, been a comfort to me since, oh, say, January, February. And, uh, and I kid you not, while I was reciting that, still in bed, I'm having just woken up, I just feel God putting his arms around me. I just, I'm just, you know, he, he knows I'm trying. He knows I'm doing my best. He knows I'm fighting like anything to keep the faith. I figured, well, uh, I've had experience um, being patient and not understanding things, uh, i.e. my darkest hour and stuff. So, I figured as, as long as I'm waiting, I would just make the best of it. I don't know, just, um, while we wait, we can just find something we can enjoy doing that that would help others. I don't know, I've, I still gotta do that melt and pour soap and the rest of that stuff in that pot. <laughs> um, you know, just, uh, if the, if the waiting is you know, getting too much, I don't know, take up knitting, knit a sweater, okay, knit a coaster. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway, that, that's, that's where I am, you know, I'm, I'm hanging in there, and I figure the longer I have to wait, the more little bitty creative ways I could, uh, further God's kingdom. So, uh, you take care, Shaza. See you in the air.
死人的 b a 